Alrighty, hello everyone. I hope you're having a good day. So today we are mainly going to be focusing on the cockpit and a little bit of the interiors on our ship today. And if we get all of that done, then we'll progress and maybe even start working on the exterior. So first off, we're going to have to add, we might add in some extra weapons in here and we're just going to be plating this up. So we'll start there. But right now we are chilling in voice with a couple of our subscri we're chilling in voice with a couple of our subscribers. So if they want to say hi. And uh, yeah, so I guess we'll just get right to it. And they're all playing on our Minecraft server, so we'll have some background noise. And actually, everyone's favorite background noise. Okay, there we go. And yeah, subscribe, that's fun. We're getting close, you know, we're we're almost to a thousand soon. I'm predicting by then to summer. So Alright. So I think what we wanna do is we might start with just putting a room, I suppose, around the this guy. Yeah, um lately like my metrics have been doing pretty good. So, ah, uh, that's true. I kind of, I kind of forgot. I keep forgetting that EA is gonna happen just now. Well, not now, but you know, like pretty much now. So, okay. What I think we want to do is we want to put some plates around these and kind of put a box. Not necessarily a box, but a box uh, around our pilot seat. So, let's see, what do we want to do here? We want to get some plates just along this area, just to cover that up. Um, so let's just do, that's way too thick. Um, yeah, that'll work. Can't really, we could do 60s. Yeah, and that, you know, that's what I was kind of thinking. And, I'm working on a couple of things right now that'll hopefully uh, continue to blow those out of the water. Why can I not? Oh, plates are deselected for some reason. Um, but so uh, I'm going to be re-recording an essentially armor simplified. So, you know, what armor is, you know, ways to classify it. Then uh, throwing in a couple other stuff. And so I, I'm thinking of re-recording it. But I think I might do it once we get mirroring, and that's the one hour one ship video. Because I know almost everyone who has watched my channel is familiar with that. So we want to put this, like, how's that? Okay, so we want to get this around. There. Pog champ. It's been a while since I've heard that. But here, I think what we want to do. So these are 144s, yeah. So let's do like a 48. What axis are we rotating around? That's the only thing about these rotation tools. I constantly am forgetting kind of what rotation axis we're actually doing. And this. Oh, we don't have a standard. Okay, let's get a. Hey, what might that be? 96? Oh, see, here's the thing, generic. Once you do that, no one else can use them. It's, it's a dangerous game. I was thinking of. Uh, limiting it so as as most of you know right now like with those bonks and bras and stuff it's uh three yeah three um for the entire stream so i might i'm gonna change that though because it gets weird if somebody uses them all early on so we'll, we'll get that fixed up but i think what we're gonna do so here, I want to 
All right, so this is where my conflict rests, okay? I'm not sure if we want to just do, you know, a, a box. Um, so I finished your sword now. You finished what? Um, your sword. Yeah. Ah. Here we yeah. Nice. Nice. Uh, and so it does... So it does 21 attack damage. It's in 0.94 attack speed. It sets enemies on fire. And has the um, beheading bonus. Nice. <laughs> We're definitely going to get a weapons upgrade from all of this. Yeah. Here, I want to see. I'm just keeping my inventory for now. So. Would this, like, snap properly? It's probably not, knowing me, but. Yeah, okay. So let's try something like this. I don't know why I did that, but, you know, I find that when I'm shipbuilding, my brain starts to run on autopilot. See, I, I was talking with someone the other day, and I was, I was kind of thinking it was funny. So, I'm sure you guys have noticed this, if you're ever, like, watching a streamer or something. Oh, hold on. We want, we need it to be 12 shorter, which is 84. Um, so we need to do this and a 36, I think, bruh, <laughs> there you go. Um, but, uh, so I, it depends on what I'm doing. So like right now, the, so this entire build is not planned. So there, there's your bonks and your bras, there, there's your combo right there, but, <laughs> So anyway, um, in terms of planning, I wouldn't say I necessarily plan a lot. So in this case, like I know that most of the ship is planned. So in, in the case that, you know, we want it to look a certain way, we want it to have these certain weapons, all of this stuff. And oh, there's another bonk and an, I'll, I'll weld in a bit. Hold on. It, okay, we need to move this a little bit, but uh, hold on. we might be at a weird point here, but uh, so I tend, when it's small things like this, like we're just doing the cockpit, I don't really plan this ahead of time. I just kind of see what feels nice and go with it, and oh god, I, I'll weld and bolt, hold on, just, Give me a second. Give me a second. Because this is going to be annoying. Hmm. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, the editor is great. That's another tutorial I'm going to be making. Because... A lot of people are, uh, well, I mean, at first glance, it's hard to use, so. And the Plus, pistols. Yeah, there's just so many buttons. Jeez, so many buttons. Well, I mean, I haven't played Dual Universe, but I don't know if they have it, you know, down to the, uh, the bolt. So, yeah, I think they have uh, Space Engineer similar building, I believe. I'm okay. Not sure though. I think these angles are. That's 180, 180, 45. This might be a little bit off. So, we're just gonna. We're gonna try and manually center this. And yeah. Keybinds, I think, are something they're definitely working on. Plus, you know, like mirroring. I saw that. Um, that looks pretty mirrored. And so, 
it, when you're in the universe, you'll need the materials in your inventory or an attached inventory to build your ship. But right here, they just need to be in like your station inventory. So like, let's see. If we go to my building, or we don't want to go to the building budget. Where is it? Nope, we don't want to go there. Where is it? Well, okay. Well, when you buy the ship, so save blueprint and buy custom ship, it'll list out what you need. Ah, here it is. So available is what I have in my station storage and needed is, you know, well, what we need. And so like, basically, you know, what, what more we need. Cause like I've already got 25.9 stacks, but I need 6.9 more and all of that. So, yeah, you can't make the blueprint if your station doesn't have the materials. And as you all requested, we are going to weld and then bolt. And then here goes our bolt. Let's see if everything starts crying. Okay, only a few things. That's better than a lot. Yeah, weld and bolt. Okay. Um, so I just kind of want to see. Ooh, this might be an issue. Hmm. Hey, uh, Max. No, lazy Max. I mean. I don't know. Uh, can I get you another right for a second? Um, um, ingots or? Yeah, ingots. Just give me like one. Oh, okay. Where are you? Um, I'm at my base. At the like blood magic thing. Ooh, blood moon. Oh. Let's get rid of that real quick. That's magic. Done. So you probably yeah. won't need an engineering degree for this. Yeah, sure. I'm trying to get one, but um, you you probably won't. Just you know. Hey, give it in. All right, come with me. I'm gonna show you a trick. You, you get used to it. It's it's hard at first. You know, a lot of things definitely don't make sense, but like over here, you, you get used to it. Okay. Uh, there's a fire crystal here. The fuck. Okay. Anyway, um, look at this. Uh, just yeah, I am getting an engineering degree, actually. I'm retarded. Can you drop me another one? So I think I needed that button there that I deleted, like if you guys saw, kind of right at the beginning of the stream. But I think I need that um, there. Come on. Uh, it's it's not purely for Starbase. Uh, if it were, Can that would be kind of hellish. I clicked the love bank, should have replicated. Wait. Okay, so it's just called input. What is this? Doesn't need any essential, it said. Fine, we'll just do this. No, not this, not that. <laughs> That's the wrong thing. Okay, so just drop this in. Well, I'd say yes, but I'm... Okay, I guess not then. Here you go. I may or may not, you know, This be is kind of sad. ...doing all of this in Starbase. No, it should have doubled it. Should have oh. been the main thing. Sadness. Okay. Ah, uh, well. It's How not gonna have it? enough not to it. <laughs> yeah, but still, it's kind of sad that it didn't double it. Also, I just got a fire crystal from, like, no reason. Okay. Yeah. There's another fire crystal over here. Here we go. And yeah, exactly, because uh, people will in the future. Sorry, Rex. That's fine. You were the guy that's streaming. Yeah, fair. But yeah, I can totally see there being, you know, a monetary... All this stuff attached. So... Let we're gonna have to do away with some of this. It's like these 144s, we're gonna have to 
just get that out of there. We're going to have to leave part of this unplated, which is going to make me really sad, but it's honestly for the best. And we're going to see if it'll work like that. Nope. Yeah, and like you, you definitely can get there is monetary value in building virtual ships like a lot of people tend to not notice but 100% there is so I think we have to delete these let's see if that top bit can stay nope it's gotta go well it's a good thing the explosive is right by our head <laughs> black market selling ships for IRL money. I can see how that would be a thing, but I I would put money on that's not going to be super popular. So what happened to the chair? Why can't it rotate all the way? Oh. I know why. Okay. And so in my opinion, do you want Starbase to get the same level of dedication as a game like EVE? Or do I want it to be casual overall? So. I... <sighs> I don't want to give a straight answer on that because so uh, while it would be nice so for instance right now so I play this relatively casually right um, so being able to go away for a week and come back and there being you know like a content update or something um, and just kind of it being just that that's nice that and not too much progress but having the dedicated people like eve that's what's going to keep the game going and like there are already some factions that are dedicated like that and so it basically if i could say both i would go with both because you need one to keep things going and you need the other to have fun well i mean who's not saying they both can't have fun but Okay, so let's see. Can this rotate out? Okay, it can. And yeah, exactly. Like, if you can come back and play once a week, that's perfect. But also, if you can play constantly, that's also great. Like, I know I'm going to be uh, the type of person who I'll only be able to, well, depending on how the semester goes, I'll only be able to log on, say, you know, two, three times a week at most. And even then, it's going to be, you know, the I can only play for a couple hours kind of deal. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. Like, having a war in Starbase is going to... It's going to be interesting, to say the least. Um, okay, so we, we are going to have to get rid of those but it it's gonna be cool to see how the wars take place because in starbase you know well for right now we don't have a good idea but they are going to be expensive at least that's what I feel like they're gonna be really really expensive Yeah, generic you'll definitely be able to do that I think that's gonna be a kind of a popular small player kind of thing to do I, I honestly when I started getting interested into Starbase 
Um, and I found out, you know, they're going to have different kinds of fuel that you can create and all this stuff. I was like, yeah, that would be, you know, that'd be a life, to be fair. Also, I don't think we're going to be able to plate this, but we'll check that out later. Just because, so the headrest will run in right about here. So we would need to have an angled plate, but we can't really... Actually, okay. Hear me out. We might be able to with a decorative plate. Nope. Thin floor panel. And well, see, here's the thing about Starbase. So, Starbase currently they run on a model where, um, yeah, microtransactions via cosmetics, but also, so they have a very specific way their servers are set up. So they have a, uh, oh boy, I got a sneeze. Hold on. Ah, but um, yeah, so microtransactions. Uh, cosmetics, other games, but Starbase for them to run is so cheap. So the thing is, the core servers to the game are the players. So it's a P2P like mesh network, so they don't have to have crazy servers. It scales because of the people, yeah, joining the game. So it works out really well. Yeah, it, it makes so much sense once you kind of think about it. And you wonder, well, you wonder why other games haven't done this, and then you realize because it's really, really difficult to do. But, because like when uh, Frozen Bite, you know, what was it, a year ago or several years ago started this, it was um, like this still is very prototype technology not many people use it not many games use it at all so i don't know if we're going to be able to put these in Yeah, so like, um, what is it? Ah, uh, I forget the. Yeah, Midfield's got it. No. Okay. Yeah, so uh, it also, um, so I believe, I don't want to say quote me on it, but um, that they have, they were going to introduce a kind of trusted player system. So like, say, you know, I have a really good computer, very stable internet, all that stuff, I'll become kind of the trusted user in an experience in like a zone. and as being the trusted user you are kind of put as the head of the local simulation i think that's right let me know if that's not but oh yeah starbase wars are going to be much more resource focused but the only thing is, to be resource focused, there has to be a collection of resources that you're fighting over. And right now, it's also spread out that it's a little bit of an issue. And 100%, I believe that trade routes are going to be a big thing once Starbase kind of gets going. And you're going to be having convoys and stuff running through them because, you know, prices are going to be extremely well how do you put this wild i suppose the prices are going to be like already it's all over the place i 
sometimes you'll get some really good prices at stations and people will buy at one and sell at the other and it's, it works I suppose Yeah, uh, so the Titan Roids, Moon Mining, so th those are going to be, yeah, that that's going to be the key to all of this. Because once you can get, like, you know, an actual mine in, that'll be, that'll be big. So what's your issue? Okay. And is that the same? No. I need to connect this extra somehow. Uh, let's put in another plate behind it and just have it a little bit more armored. Uh, so theoretically, yes, the supply of ores is limited. Um, just due to, you know, asteroids and they're gonna run out eventually. Part not strong enough, of course. What if we take out that? Okay, well that's something. I mean, with their current manpower, I could see it happening. Yeah, theoretically finite ores, but there's so many that it's not going to be an issue, at least I believe. And it is going to be a player economy. So, all right. Yeah, exactly. Um, I really hope they add in, well, you know, I know some people are kind of somewhat opposed, but like maybe like alien events, something like that. That would be cool. Also, what the heck? Ah, it's this. Um, yeah, there's definitely going to be, like, I think that'll be one of the binding characteristics is, uh, like, terroristic and pirate groups. Like, if an area gets pirated all the time, people are going to want to change that. Okay. So that's all good. Um, we want to make this longer, though. So I think we're going to kind of double it. So this may this is going to require a little bit of fandangling. Hmm. Yeah, and so I know right now we've got, you know, these portals, right? Uh our kind of warp gates. And yeah, they are in my opinion at least stupidly large, but because uh, I know in the past it has been talked about that what would happen is they would become player made and I really hope that's still the case because you know right now we've got them they're huge and it, it's it's a lot and for them to just be given to us right now you know that's a little bit of a stretch also I think we need to move this down our chair down destructible I think they should be more like you know station kind of things where they you know they are destructible but what you kind of have about them is you know a safe zone you have to crack it and all that so can we Ooh, this is gonna be rough to move down can I actually move that down at all I don't think I can Okay, guys, I need I need your opinions real quick. So, all right. We've got our flight position right here. So this is flight. As you can see, it's kind of capped off at the top. Should we just take it off? Like here, let me, let me take that off and I'll show you what it looks like. Because we can't really move the chair itself downwards without major issue. We could do glass, yeah, but like, you know, I think it looks better. 
Yeah, like this. And then we can take... Nope, I want... Okay, well... Nope, get out of here. Um, so the way to prevent offline raids is... Here, let me explain in a second. But I think if we replace those bits with glass, that'll be good. Um, but so, how they're going to counter offline raids is you need kind of a... Uh, like, you're going to be taking a while to crack shields. I think it is similar to EVE in that respect, whereas it'll take a while to, you know, crack a shield. And so, like, you'll be able to prevent that in the case of an offline raid. And, yeah, I, I'm i still not sure how I quite feel about the whole, um, do we have windows? Hold on, where's windows? Oh, I'm just blind. Okay, cool. Um, like, capital ships are just an enigma right now. So, I don't know. So this is a 96 by 144, so this is exactly what we need. And no, I love answering questions. Like, that, that's great. But, um, what was I saying? So, yeah, tar uh, transport ore. Yeah, that's, well, Faultier, that's actually kind of what it would have to be. Uh, thanks for the follow rhythm. But, um, you would have to transfer ore, because, that. well, how else are you going to build it, to be fair? And man, I wish we had more window options. Hmm. What if we laid like... Hmm. Might just have to be a little bit cheeky. So that's 120 by 120. We want. Can we get it smaller? Hmm. And you know, okay. So faultier. That that's the thing. So civilian capital ships are indestructible because they. I think they want to give solo players the chance because solo players they do have the option to build capital ships and all this, and so that like you know. Oh, I can only play like once a week or even less than that. You know, I don't want to come back to my destroyed capital ship when it took me so long to build it. And so, um, right now I actually do have my own faction. So, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but so I own SOS, um, the rescue group. And so, we're kind of waiting until. Uh, EA releases to actually start doing stuff because that's when a lot of the issues are going to arise but so basically it's rescue and potentially some salvage because that's you know the way things happen so this looks much better I want to put a glass sheet there so we'll try and get that in but I like this and um so basically like you know my channel and how we have our community that currently um and for the foreseeable future is not a faction so i just want to get that out of the way that's just my community and windows yeah i don't think there's going to be a good window that really fits our current This is a 96. Is there a 72? There is. Hmm. That looks a bit janky. Like. It'll be hard to notice from inside, I suppose. Thank you. Let's look at this. It's going not too shabby, Cookie. We're we're having some 
difficulty. What do you guys think? Do you think it's worth having that little bit of overlap just to have that window there? Because I don't know, we could just not have it there. This piece right here, the highlighted piece. Okay, cool. And uh, Pluto, I believe they're going to add in more. I don't think we've seen anything about that. But Starbase initially, um, you know, it was going to be solar systems, I believe, and other actual planets. But I wouldn't say quote me on that because Starbase hasn't said anything in that in a while. So. Judging by their silence, they're either reconsidering or doing something else. And okay, so glass will be like that. Um, now let's see. I think I'm also going to put glass right there above this. So, yeah, I Pluto, I don't know about that one, to be fair. Um, I remember it being talked about a lot a while back but since most things are now just around EOS I think currently that's going to be the way things are going to well be for a while and they aren't uh, I do not believe they're going to add procedural plating um, just because it takes a lot to calculate and all that stuff but again I'd refer to the um, whatchamacallit for that uh, I would go through the um, what's it called a roadmap yeah the starbase roadmap and glass is armored slightly so it's not entirely super easy to be shot at um, but you know most ship weapons will break through it so the main the main thing with glass is that, um, well, it'll protect you from, like, if there's somebody who walks up and just is like, okay, we're going to shoot you now, like, that's not going to happen. So, for instance, like, if somebody uh, came up with a pistol or a weapon, most regular weapons... It would either take a while or they wouldn't be able to get through the glass. So it's still something, but it's not much. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure where that is, so I can't link it, but yeah. And I am sad a couple things got left pretty far back in the roadmap, but you know, that that's the way early access games go. So. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to put a lot of uh, plates behind these on the sides and just bolt those in. So let's get some plates. Do I think the current map is large enough? Uh, no, I would say no. Um, because later on, you know, people have aspirations to leave the system. People have aspirations to is this not snapping? Hold on. There we go. You know, it it's all about that universe perspective. Like, we're going to get a lot more in the future. Um, hold on. Um, so, right now, it's good. I will say like it's perfect for what is needed, but it it definitely will have to improve. Ah, oh, faultier. Now, I want to warn you. You're getting into one of the most, aside from shields, one of the most hotly debated topics in Starbase currently. So, shields and cameras are currently on a long list of, or, well, at the top of a long list of things that are uh, interesting for the community. Yeah, exactly. 
So shields and, and cameras for that matter, while they're nice, yeah, but it's, it's gonna result in a lot of issues. We're just gonna... I understand your revulsion at that, guys, but just hang with me for a bit while we sort this out. Okay. Yeah, like we we don't want box meta. Like right now, you rarely see any box ships in Starbase. If it's a box ship, it was designed to look like a box. Right here, this these aren't designed to look like boxes, and it's hard to make a box ship that actually works properly in a combat meta because you do have to have that exposed cockpit. And yeah, Faultier, that, that's true, but even with that, like even with having a person on the outside, you have uh, uh, some sort of, you know, exposed area that's very obvious. I don't know, it's, it's hard to kind of describe. It, it's a weird, my stance is I'm, I would rather not have um uh cameras just because it even though it does uh make some things suffer a little bit you know that's that's okay because like i'm all in favor of really complex ships and yeah, sure, it may be super complex, but you do have a point of failure. A very obvious point of failure. one of my tricks that I like to use. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know that's one of my favorite things to get bits and bobs to line up. And uh, am I excited for the plating of this ship? No, this plating will kill me. Um, like all the plating before it. So it's going to be an interesting time. But uh, it's hard to say. But it, I think this time we might have some fun with it. Hmm. Where's that plate? Hmm. Um, how do you think factions will hold their territory? Well, that's going to be real sketchy. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be a good way for them to, other than, you know, putting patrols out and just keeping up with that. I think there's going to be territory later down the line, but so far I don't know anything about it. We're going to use 48s. And well, you know, the easy build mode is, um, you know, for well, A, newer people, and B, uh, if you don't want to spend as much time building a ship. Because, you know, a ship made in easy build mode will probably never rival a ship that's made completely custom.
So like, I'm not super worried, to be fair. Like that, you know, easy build mode will result in a box meta. I think it'll just result in, you know, people who haven't built many ships building for their first time. And yeah. Well, I mean, it is, I can't understand that. It's interesting. And yeah. And to go back to what uh, Lazy Max was saying, yeah, I agree. We having a lot of other weapons would be really cool, but I think we want to wait until the meta establishes itself again because right now we're going through slight meta changes where you know there's a small what is it five rotations of weapons plus explosives, and there's currently a slight counter to each of those, and we want to kind of keep that counter alive for now. But once it starts sta uh, stagnating, definitely. And we will be going with um, two, well, I don't want to say we're going with two paint jobs, but um, the first paint job we're going to do is going to be the Expanse paint job. Also, does that just come off? It doesn't. Okay, cool. It does. I was kidding. It's not bolted on properly. That's fun. But we're going to be doing a custom paint job after that um but haven't really thought about it so that's going to be way down the line we need to finish getting through the hellish plating of the ship first um it's it's going to be interesting because especially in areas like this well luckily it's going to be flat but we're going to have to do some wicked plating because those also might have hatches on them so <laughs> that's a yikes but okay so we want to get this plated. Hmm. Hessian, I don't become a cookie. No offense to cookie, but don't become cookie. Uh, for anyone who's wondering uh, on the Minecraft server, um, cookie just consistently will die in the nether. Um, okay, so how do we have the seat rotate? So. Um, let me finish bolting these in and I'll uh, show you real quick. Oh yeah, and I agree, bolting should take a lot less time, which I'm looking forward to. Because it's all quite angular. Alright, how much... Okay, it's just way overweight, that's something. Um, so... The chair can rotate because I put it on essentially a turret base. So we have a turret base and a turret body. And we just put our chair on top of that. And then we threw together a YOLAL script. And that YOLAL script at the press of a button will activate and rotate the chair into one of two separate positions. One of which is, you know, piloting position and the other is standby. And as for the internals, we don't have much. Um, so all we need to do, really, is finish up these weapons here and all this stuff. Then once we finish that up, potentially, well, we're definitely going to be moving these. We're going to move the FCU and MFC. I think we'll put them in our engineering just because that's going to be the safest part of the ship. And then after that, we might put like bits of walls along here. Because if you kind of see, yes, I know the ship has a durability error. So when you're switching from this angle to that angle, you can fly out this way or the other side. And uh, I don't want that because these parts are for that reason. Also, I need to finish putting in plates there. Okay. But yeah. And I, I do wish we had more like cosmetic items we could put in a ship, but you know I'm willing to live with it because of, you know, just what we can do. Oh jeez, I need to hydrate. Oh yeah, I, I hope so too. I mean, <clears throat> they might not have to because. Like it is, it is really annoying, um, but you know it's possible. 
Like, we've done it. Yeah, Jesper, that's what I was just thinking. <laughs> Remind me to hydrate. I'll just inundate myself with water every time <laughs> somebody uses that. But, yeah, right now it's a lot of just working on finishing touches for a lot of stuff, I believe. Honestly, probably a good idea. And uh, Max, I saw your thing about uh, potentially putting this down lower. And yes, I could, but right now it's a little bit difficult, to say the least, because uh, if we look right behind us, well, here, let's just, uh, bigger generators, if they got here today, then yes. If not, then no. But it's going to be hard <laughs> to move the seat down a little bit. So let's see uh, about those generators, actually, because I know there was an update today. Oh, and speaking of, there was an update earlier in the week that added in um, some new sizes of ducts, because um, I know you guys have seen them. We've added them in a lot. These bad boys, um, they added shorter ones. So that's really, that's really great. But let's check out those generators, I believe. Okay. I do not think they added them in yet, so that's a shame, but soon, TM. Oh yeah, once once this is released, time just down the drain. Like, um, when me and a couple of the other guys uh, that I will play with, when we got it uh, the first time, yeah, like I did a hundred hours in a week. Like, uh, it was a little addicting. So, let, let's fix this up. I think one thing we could actually do is just, yeah, days of sleep. Like, some people went without sleep for, yeah, several days when CA released. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people did because many of us were quite um, yeah, enthusiastic. Uh, you should feel judged, Max. I mean, it wasn't even targeted at you, but now that now that you said something, we're going to move these down just because glass is inherently, um, how do you put this, aesthetic and very visible. I don't know how many hours some people put in, but like two days straight, you know, that's 48 hours. I've seen, I saw that happen. But man, nothing will compare to the first days. The first days of Starbase are always so much fun. Like, um, my first days was really fun. Like, just, you know, I walk in, one of the devs is like, hand, hands me a gun, and it's just like, okay go have fun and I'm like all right so yeah but I'm definitely gonna be sticking around oh how many hours let me check uh, currently I've got 411 I really fell off after I got burnt out like roughly 250 300 hours in um, but that's just cuz I played it literally all the time but now, you know, I'm, I'm pacing myself. Playing maybe two, three times a week is the best for me. The uh, planets may be the moons, but I'm not sure yet. And yeah, Crusader, we're stepping up in the world. You know, this past week was actually really good for the channel, so I'm looking forward to it. But okay, so. Do, do, do. This seems pretty solid. A little capsule. But, ah, what we're going to do is we are going to do this real quick.
Um, oh yeah, definitely. Mel, I cannot wait to see so many people playing. Hopefully it stands up. It should, but... All right, there we go. So basically what I just did there, for anyone who doesn't know, is I changed the material of all of our plates, except for those, just ignore those ballast plates. Um, I'm making the entire ship uh, Gesium. Uh, it's a slightly lighter metal, but also more armored, and that is what we're looking for. And the torps are off to the side. I haven't put them in yet. And where's our 1.0 warp glass? It's coming from one of these. It's right there. All right. Uh, I, the material brush is that big just because I made it that big, just so I can do a quick once over and it, it's it's done. Fix this too. Yeah, dual universe from the beginning. Like I, for me personally, it was off putting just because of how quiet it was kept. But that's just a personal opinion. And. Oh yes, don't you worry, Mo. We're definitely gonna once the ship is done, we're gonna do that. Though I personally, you know, I might bring in a couple people to help plate just because this is painful. And uh, yes, there are gonna be extra crew members. So the ideal crew of this ship is going to be five people. So pilot, engineer, and three gunners. And then techn technically six if you include a person like Crusader, because Crusader is going to be our essentially, yeah, our loader. He's going to be only loading missiles and stuff, or torpedoes and missiles, actually, because we do have missiles. Oh, yeah, Secret Mink, definitely. If you look uh, earlier when we would take out the Nebulon B, you'll see some really fun multi crewed ships, because that we had. I think like 16 people on a single ship at a time. But okay, so this is kind of our enclosure for our pilot that we like to have. This just gives a little bit of extra protection from the sides. It also really channels our look forwards. Plus, um, this way we don't see any of the messy plating or things um, just right there. And I agree, Faultier. Like that, that was very a little sketchy for me. But okay, so I think we're actually pretty done. I just want to see, can we? Okay, we can unlock and unlock that. Also, we'll be able to. What we're gonna do is we're gonna yolol all, all of these missile launchers. Same with the torpedo launchers, and get all those working properly. So, what do we have next? Let's take a look. So we're going to call this finished for now. So we're going to move the chair though. So um, now you can look out the sides here, okay, in the torpedo room. But I'm willing to live with this just because this is going to be a much more industrial room. And it's already pretty plated and this is going to be this is going to have a lot more plating on the outside and yeah that's a rotating chair it's so you can get in and out super easy and then go into piloting position so that's all custom and very fun and yeah faultier's right you can't do slingshot maneuvers sadly well crusader so here's the thing this is going to be those are the launching tubes and plus, remember, we're going to be having a lot of armor on the outside. Yes, Jesper, the torpedoes will be homing. So uh, a couple videos back is when we were working on them, and they are going to be homing. But uh, we're having some slight issues with that. We think it's a bug, so we're just going to wait and see kind of what happens.
but yes, we're nearly there. We're nearly to the torpedoes being proper. Then this room, so this room is not done yet, but this will be where we'll put in extra torpedo storage or material storage. There's a lot of different options for this room, but currently it's going to be making, you know, torpedo or torpedo storage down here. This is going to be our disco room because on every combat ship I make, we have a disco room. So hell yeah. And then down here is going to be our engineering. So ceiling is going to be exposed once again. Um, and that's just so, you know, our engineers have a little bit of a better grasp on it. There's going to be YOLOL chips, more YOLOL chips than this, kind of lining the walls, and they're going to be running everything. We're also going to have a chair down here, a chair or two, for our engineers. And then you have access to all three of the ship's major areas, including the generator. So actually, this is one thing I want to do now, is fix up this generator path. Just because it's quite wonky. Uh, unarmed torpedoes do not explode when hit. And um, mo almost, well, all of the torpedo parts, except for the uh, actual explosive part, when damaged, will not explode. And torps are laser designated, yeah, not YOLO tracked. But um, also, one thing, uh, and not sure if you guys have seen this, but I was thinking about it, is we have space for a reconstruction machine. So, like, we would put that up there. And we, we will have a magazine vault here. Crusader, I don't even know how I would do that, like, to be fair. But so this reconstruction machine, if we keep it, which not sure yet if we want to, uh, may be a good idea in case somebody gets shot, but we'll move it from here to where essentially these cargo crates are right now, or a little bit forward, and then we'll have the access hatch right there or right there. And then we'll move these cargo crates just back and we'll have more of them. because. So those cargo crates, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, you can repair ships with a repair tool. And essentially people will just hook up to certain outlets around the ship and we'll be able to access that and repair the ship. Um, you can't right now. Uh, later on, crafting is gonna be a thing and you'll be able to print torpedoes, but right now, no. And yeah, Pluto, that that's a good idea. I really wish they would have they would actually have another um, PvP tournament because that would that would put another rush on the uh, on all this like innovation. So in between the hall and the interior, so in most places it's just going to be kind of well. At least up here, so we'll take up here as an example. This place, just ignore it, we're going to outfit it later. So it is going to be the exterior, and then there's going to be an empty space, either that or depending on... I want to see how fast we're going first, because I want to see. I want to make sure the ship is actually somewhat speedy. We will put in extra plates if it's fast enough, but otherwise it'll just be... You know the space in between and yeah i agree generic i would have loved to have this ship uh at the big ship event but yeah in its current state it would get just chewed up immediately so okay so let, let's kind of go over what we have to do so ah yeah this so we've got our mfc and fcu now the uh, Hessian, I think Max is doing Tetra. Uh, check with him though, because I haven't heard much about what mods he's doing. Um, here, hold on. I want to see something. Do we have a? Nope. What I'm looking for is a connector that connects those three beams. Okay, we don't have that. So 
what I was uh, thinking is of putting a, another beam in between here, just so that we can put our SU and MFC on that. So, uh, Faultier, we have a Minecraft mod pack and a server for the subscribers on Twitch, and uh, it's modded. So Tetra is one of those mods. Um, I do not know when the next PvP event is, though. Let me check real quick. Uh, event announcements. Uh, there are currently no planned PvP events, it looks like. So I think... I think we'll put our uh, FCU and MFC in there, though. So we'll, we'll take these and move them in. So as, as you guys know, these are the cores for our ship, so they need to really be protected. So I believe by having them in our engineering section, that'll be the best because engineering is really kind of closely guarded. There's nothing really explosive around here, and there's going to be a lot of stuff in the way because there's going to be turrets on either side here, and it's going to be pretty much where the thickest armor is going to be. Okay, cool, that's hooked up. And then, here, we're gonna try something. Uh, you definitely can. Um, it's just, it's gonna be a pain if you do. And uh, you can actually do it just from balancing your ship properly. So a little, uh, yeah, you definitely can. Um, it'll just be hard but like um, a fun fact about um, you know the first ship I ever made um, it actually doesn't even have an MFC or an FCU and that's because the ship is just perfectly balanced so that that's one thing you can consider in your ships if you just make it perfectly balanced you don't need an MFC or FCU I mean it's gonna be a little bit wacky to actually name all the um, throttles, but you can do it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can just draw, cause some drama between some factions and call it a day. Alright, we'll take this and we'll put them down there. So this has to remain like that, just because that is the forward direction of our ship. Alright, that's bolted in. And now to, well, wire it up. And yeah, I know this is increasing our cable count and all that stuff, but um, fashion. Plus, uh, if something breaks, we can visually repair it super easily. And visual repair is very handy. So something like that. There we go. And then we'll just put a cable there, put a cable there. Uh, they do not. So that's going to be one of the primary uses for them. Okay, so there we go. Those are all hooked up properly and bolted in, right? Yep. Um, we don't have a designated engineer right now, so a lot of this is just going to be, uh, you know, people from the Sim Haven or from people who just want to, you know, join our crew. So, yeah. And yeah, midfield, that's exactly it. Like, um, 
that the ship I made was a long time ago and it was a very small ship so it's much easier to keep balanced but it wasn't even meant to see action it was really just a transport so okay so what do you guys say we mess around with that bad boy So, there will be a damage control diagram, yep, and we'll put that right in here. Uh, I'm thinking we might have it facing this wall, depending on what we do with this. Because we might not have a reconstruction machine, and we might, I haven't decided yet. It feels like it could be a good idea, but mm, I don't know yet. It could go either way. Okay. Uh, back to what I, what I was previously thinking about. So, I think what I what I want to do here is actually use some beams, some beams to actually like keep us on track. Ooh boy. Okay. So there aren't any beams back here, so it's going to be a little bit of an issue. But, we'll figure it out. Um, so, like say, you know, you have something set to 1, right? Uh, it blows up. It would not set back to 0, if that's what, you know, you're asking about. So, like, uh, that's why, you know, like the damage system we had was kind of like an active pulling system. So, basically, if a component didn't respond then it would say, oh, hey, this component has potentially died. So. Yeah. We could glue the ship as an anti-pirate vessel. Um, oh, yeah, I was... Um, this ship would be nice as a... Um, anti-pirate ship because you don't have to be close necessarily like a lot of the ships I'm designing here um, they're either gonna be for personal use or I'm gonna use them for SOS so you know that, that it's a 50 50 but you know uh, a lot of this ship will mainly be used for combat events like um, plus, if we ever do like armadas or um, like what's it called? Uh, uh, when you accompany another ship, not a convoy, um, not really a screen either. Um, ah, what's it called? Ah, I don't know, but. Either way, uh, the ship is mainly meant to be, yeah, escort, that's the word. Um, might be an escort for larger ships, That's or just, you know, a sniping ship, so. Yeah, it's, it's the escort. So I want to, basically what I'm doing here, it may seem a little weird, but I'm just kind of making sure that the player will stay within a specific area as they kind of fall down. Uh, we could do wires running along important beams. Yeah, definitely. Um, I was thinking of doing that because so that's how our dam how the damage system currently kind of works. Um, so, yeah, so, something along those lines. And can you reverse engineer ships? No. So once a ship is in the galaxy or in the universe, you cannot edit it and you cannot bring it back to the editor. So all you'll be able to do is you'll have to look at it in universe.
Yeah. And just like that. Except we're upside down. Hold up. What did I do wrong? What? We want to be like this. So here, let's let's try this out again. Okay, so you're walking around in the engine bay, la di da di da. You want to go back to the main. You come out here, hit that. Okay, that's how you're supposed to do it. And then you drop down here, and then just you can't go past. So let's just uh, put some plates in here. A UNN Truman class. Hold on, let me, let me take a, while this loads, let me take a quick look at that. Okay, the UNN Truman. Ooh, that's a cool looking ship. Yeah, that, that would be interesting. Because uh, I know we can make really armored turrets. It would be a bit big. See, I'm also not sure, like, because we've been designing ships of, from all over the place. If we want to do another Expanse ship immediately after. Just because, you know, for the sake of changing things up. So, to Anaconda time. Ah, uh, Max converted you. Hmm. But, uh, Paris. I'll have to look that up. Because I'm not sure about the Paris. I don't know what that looks like. Ah, uh, the Anaconda. We might have to. Because, uh, I, I mean, if, if you guys like it, we may do that. Plus, it's from a different universe. And the Paris class. Ooh, that would be an... Okay, that would be an interesting ship. And that would be a very, very... Cool-looking ship. It's recognizable. But, oh boy, those... Those bits. It's not... It's, how do I put this? It doesn't feel like it's built for, you know, an actual universe. Um, I'm not sure if we'd even make the Rossi, because um, to make the Rossi, uh, we're going to have to, um, well, because I feel like we already have this, the Morgan class patrol destroyer. That's pretty good. Like, a Nicki Minaj song. That's just what we call our line of combat ships, like different Nicki Minaj songs. That would, that would certainly be a, a fun naming scheme. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, does that go? Okay, that fits like right there. Hmm. Yeah, like it. It's pretty similar, which kind of is like, eh, because we don't necessarily want to be overlapping ships all that much. Oh, is that just slightly? Oh. All right, so that's a 96 by 144, so let's do a 72 by 140. No, we need a 96 by 96. That's our best bet. But, okay, so I'm not... I personally think this is perfectly fine to leave spaces like this to where there's slight exposures and all that, mainly because this is engineering and engineering you're supposed to be able to access stuff and repair it if you need 
So I'm perfectly okay with like this little gap here because this is well where all the components are. And um, yeah, so the Star Destroyer, definitely, because that's a big community project that I want us all to work on and that would be so much fun. Um, and then that could be a capital ship, probably. And ooh, okay, Mo, I I agree with you there. A Viper from Battlestar Galactica. That's a nice little fighter ship, and I really love Battlestar Galactica. So that would be a fun one. But okay, so now we just need to make it so that you can't like, I guess, jump out of here. All right. And yeah, the Rossi does have a little bit of plot armor. Um, and plus, with having those pop-up turrets on the outside of the Rossi, we can't really make pop-up turrets like that. It'll be a little difficult, per se, uh, as in will make me go um, a little insane. Now, I actually don't know what that one is, so I'm going to have to check that out. So we'll, we'll do that once I get a moment here. Are you, are you kidding me? You know what? We're just going to work the other way. <laughs> yeah, all the PTCs are pop-ups. So, and the PTCs, like, PTCs on this ship is kind of where I'm putting our turrets. And... It makes for a little bit of a wonky area if it's not sized properly, which is this all already isn't, you know, quite, uh, what's it called, um, proportionate. But, you know, it's close enough. But the Rossi, I feel like because all of those PDCs are in such weird spots. All right, yep, that's yellow. All right, we'll put in attachment plates here. Yeah, I don't really like how they pop up, but... I mean, I will say it is, you know, cool points. Yeah, a Viper... Uh, being able to not have to worry about any limits. <laughs> also, here, we're going to try this, because I want to make sure that we're not doing anything stupid first. Um, where is it? Highlight overlapping objects. Um, well, I don't think we have any overlapping objects then, so we're going to disable that because that will slow us down a lot. Uh, UNSC Prowler. Let me look that up. I should just make a channel that's ship design ideas and you guys can throw like little things together. Ooh, I like the Prowler, but I don't know about those angled wings. Plus it's got a little bit of a rounded top. Hmm. I do like the idea of it though. We'll see, we'll see. But I think actually making that Viper next would be really cool. Forty-eight by one forty-four. Let's do the ninety-six. Uh, the dropship from Titanfall two. And uh, fall to your what are you saying? Like back here is a lot of space for generators, generator cores. because I can I, it definitely is yeah that's kind of like the point I well yeah that's well, why I made it like that but um, that way we have a lot of backup because uh, ideally the ship later on will be doing you know it's gonna be a patrol destroyer it's got to be able to go for a while by itself so
should I put glass here? Like glass here and here. We you won't necessarily see outside, but maybe just like these bits. Hmm. Yeah. The Viper it it's a good it's a good ship all around. I think that would see what would we want to put on the Viper though? Because you know, weapons are pretty sizable. Like, I think at best, well, we'd be able to fit, like, at least quad weapons on there. Maybe put some stuff on the wingtips. And yeah, it would be cool if they made the SSC available to everyone, but I understand how they can't, because it's just so, you know, integrated. Yeah, I mean that's how we did. I mean we when we were still waiting, like, um, you know, all a lot of the people who have access right now, we uh, built ships in Blender. <laughs> Oof. Interesting times to say the least. doesn't line up perfectly but there's not much we can really do and it still covers up a lot of that gap that hold up that's kind of confusing part not strong enough okay ah um yeah uh so i said i was going to start playing station years but um so i'm going to be playing it with max and max is currently wound up with some uni stuff some uh, university stuff so he can't really play right now which it really sucks because I you know I found out with you guys not too long ago um, but don't worry we're gonna we're gonna make it up I don't I honestly don't know what to do with these because if they can't support it then let's try adding more yeah I can't wait for stationers because so for anyone who doesn't know what it is it's essentially right up my alley um, so you know custom wiring uh, coding um, you know you gotta engineer your survival yeah exactly it's it's, it's really detailed like uh, and now that they have a water update so water is a big uh, aspect um, that changes up a lot of things. I think what we might have to do is just bring in a beam to be fair. Um, uh, yeah, there's no good spot to do that. Yeah, I'm sad it doesn't really have that much Newtonian physics like that, but still, it's going to be really, really epic. And, um, you know, that's going to be episodic, so we're going to, well, I'm going to edit that edit it around um, so get ready because you're gonna see some interesting stuff when I start learning how to edit so because um, so I just got editing software just recently so a ludicrous speed oh boy 
You guys are giving me so many ideas. Jeez. A ship with a skeleton design. That could be cool. Hmm. That actually... Hmm. Here, we're gonna see if we can put more of these bolts reach. They do. Okay, cool. Take that out. Is our warp class back up to... 1.25. Stationers had an update yesterday. Oh. Hold up. Oh, the food for thought update. Oh, heck yeah. Seeds, farming, fertilizer. Okay. All right, that's epic. Also, side note, you guys are probably about to hear some Minecraft sounds because while I clicked away to see that update, I 100% hit the... Uh, Minecraft button. Um, there. Oh yeah, an Elite Dangerous. They released Odyssey yesterday. I'm tempted to get that. I haven't played Elite Dangerous in a while, but I know a lot of people are interested in that. But okay, so let, let's test out that uh, thing. Uh, maximum player amount. Uh, currently, uh, in one area, I think uh, it will only render 100, but infinite players in a single area. It'll only render like the 100 closest. Uh, what mod? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, Elite always fixes the easy ways to get money. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what the new way to get money is. Nassian, I have no clue. Uh, so what? Because hmm. I know they have immersive engineering on the other side of the base, but that might be nice for us to have as well. So. Make a normal ship and add a rib cage and stuff. <laughs> and big battles are still possible. Yes. Um, and I believe they will always be possible. So, I just can't wait to see the first. Well, I mean, we've had some pretty sizable battles, with one with like roughly 100 people, but, you know, we'll see. Okay, so we've got our kind of hallway set up. Um,. This part is just going to lead into the open hall, so that's going to remain the way it is. Um, hmm. Well, what else is there to do? Oh, we got to wire these up. Uh, we love when you're first learning how to play. So much fun. See, I'm going to put my money on the beginning of uh, EA. Because uh, pr probably a weekend. I'm putting my money on a weekend. I went over there to see where I connected, but then forgot. That's the label. Um, I'm not sure as to the size of the big generators, um, but they very well might be able to. I just don't know. <laughs> like that um okay
And of course we got to do this, but no biggie. Um, so the normal missiles are super easy. Yeah, the normal missiles work. Uh, not the torpedoes though, at least that we know of. And I think, yeah, the first war will be over that, or it'll just, it's probably going to be over some, uh, just like, faction disagreements. <laughs> and I'm, I am thinking that SOS might have, you know, we're going to have a station, right? But might take over some territory for itself just to establish itself. So. Ah, there we go. Some, some quick hydration oh yeah uh, Pluto there are some factions that like that's what they want to do or well groups slash organizations they just want to you know keep track of really what it is or really you know what happens and agreed there is no way but like uh, uh, it's it's weird um to say the least uh because like you can kind of patrol like right outside the safe zone kind of you go straight out but um and so carbon 505 uh you know because i haven't finished that because so when i was still finishing that you remember when I was having the super lag because I had this on, the highlight overlapping objects? That just kind of killed my motivation for that. So we have about, like here, let me just show you. We're going to save. And I don't even know what Novus Aurora is, so... <laughs> um, I haven't really been in the politics game for a while now, just because it's, uh, it's been a little bit bumpy, but... All right, so which one did I deployable branch? And uh, it wouldn't be PVP; uh, it'd be the shipbuilding, or you know, who knows? Did it get? Hold up, hold up! This is the wrong ship. Hold on. Oh yeah, the lore is going to be so much fun. Uh, here we are. Yeah, so this is, uh, basically, I'm almost done with a third of this, which, uh, because, you know, I'm done with, once I'm done with that, I'm going to copy it over to there and there, so that's going to be easy. And to finish the ship up, I'm going to finish plating back here as well, you know, do the same thing, do a third, copy it, but I'm going to leave the thrusters exposed. Just because this isn't supposed to be a very, in, like, it's a big expensive ship. It's it's not going to work well outside of the belt, or outside of the safe zones. So, but it's close. Which makes me a little bit sad, but whatever. <laughs> you know how it is. And, uh, Mo, I think a, a couple will. I think there's already been some repercussions in uh, the community for that, but... Yeah, canonically the moons is coarse bread. Oh yeah, I know the yeah. See, it's weird seeing people, you know, adding more lore and finding out the older lore. Throwback to the Olive Wars. That was an interesting time. But let's see. You know, aside from doing the outer plating. I'm not really sure quite what to work on right now. I think we're gonna not include this. We're gonna leave it there to think about. And if people in the comments uh, want to just, if people in the comments uh, on YouTube want to say anything about this, or if you guys in chat want to say anything, let me know. Cause I'm not sure we really need or want that. But uh, once we decide that, we'll move these crates backwards, add more of them. Um, <clears throat> uh, I know one thing we'll do. Let's get some hard points in here. Uh, we're not ending right now, no. We're, we've still got about 20 minutes in the stream. I like to stick to that. Don't you worry. 
Ah, uh, that won't go down perfectly. Yeah, I like to stream at least from 3 to 5. Exactly, the engine is huge. Uh, hmm. We're going to have some interesting times figuring out where to put these. Um, currently, no. I think you may lose your weapon, um, but you don't lose your stuff in your inventory. But uh, I can pretty much guarantee you that will change. At least I think so. That should. <laughs> I'd imagine. Okay, so weld, bop. And then we're going to put our device hardpoint in. Yeah, right there. Perfect. All right. Bolt that in. And then where, what would it be in? Machinery? Um, I'm currently looking for our, it's not any of these, it's our uh, access point, what's it called? Ah, is it in devices? Uh, yeah, I think it's here. Yeah, resource bridge. So that's all happy, yeah, cool. Uh, the SOS is going to have armed ships, um, but uh, I'm not sure it's going to be really a military, per se. But, see, you know, that's a misnomer because we are going to have milita militaristic ships. So, it's going to be interesting, to say the least because, you know, we're, we're still going to need to defend ourselves. And if we have a station, you already know people are going to try and take that. So, yeah, we're, we're not going to be taking over people's stations or stuff like that. Like, we're, we're not, we're not going to be doing hostile stuff. It's defensive. Okay, so there's one resource point, so that should be good. Then we want to put another one back here. Actually, probably right there is a good spot for it. Yeah, <laughs> SOS Special Forces. Actually, we could put it just right there. And uh, so uh, I believe they're going to get uh, ported over. So like um, the blueprints will be ported over so we won't have to worry about that. Um, but you know, all the physical stuff will not be. So like, you know, I have a couple land holdings. I've got actually a pretty decent, well, eh, compared to a lot of people, I don't have that much money, but I have got, I've got a pretty good amount of money that won't be ported over, stuff like that. Why won't this... There we go. Here, let me let me uh, finish this. Um, we currently do have a couple alliances, but mostly it's going to be uh, what's it called? Uh, NDA or not NDAs? Uh, Non-aggression pacts. And uh, you know we've we've got to carefully weigh current factions, anyways, or current alliances. Um, and Mo, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Don't you worry. But as for money, let's see where I'm at right now. 65 million. Eh. Yeah. See, that's what happens when you have a... 
I used to have like over a hundred, but I just have a bunch of properties that I've let go. Or I haven't let them go, I just have them and don't use them. So that's like a nice monthly rental. Okay, so we've got one there, one there. We want to put an access point back here. Where do we want to put it? Hmm. Well, yeah, it's going to be a complex system of somewhat like that. And Mo, what are, what are you quoting me on? Kristen, for some reason, the auto mod flagged that. I don't even know why. Um, but Mo, what are you quoting me on? I don't even know. Oh yeah, faultier. Don't worry. I've been so. Um, ah, uh, yeah, that's fair. I've I've been coding in the. Well, I'm sure some of you know that it's been in a, it's one of those projects that I just got burnt out on, uh, but I still work on from time to time. And I've actually been giving it a little bit more effort recently, but I have a bot for SOS um, and it's gonna automatically manage all of the, um, you know, like you submit a form and then it's gonna automatically manage everything for us. So like um, you, you guys, the players, can just pick up uh, and respond to requests for help in Discord. And uh, that's going to be all monitored and everything. So, like, we're going to have, we already do have some moderators for that. And we're also having uh, ban systems. Right now, I've got, like, the ability to ban, uh, you know, all kinds of, like, well, we'll just go with players. I don't want to go into depth on the ban system just because people can figure out ways around it. So, but don't worry. It's possible to ban people just in case uh, stuff like that happens. Um, it might be. Not sure, to be fair. Uh, just because, like, uh, in the time since, like, our prime, uh, not much has happened. Like... There's not much to do. All of the players that we have are kind of just not playing. Like, uh, I'm not gonna pull it up so that I don't expose them. But like, um, you know, pe people in SOS just when they got access, they played for a while and then didn't. So, but anyways, it's supposed to be volunteer organization. Most of the stuff is gonna be volunteers. So it's really just going to be like, oh, hey, you know, I'm bored. I'm going to pop in and help out SOS for, like, a mission. Like, that's the thing. And yeah, we could do the billboards. That would actually be pretty cool. But uh, right now, a lot of people have issues with big billboards, and we'll ram them out of the way and stuff. But we're going to do advertising, probably. It depends on... Uh, well and yeah faultier um so like it's gonna be an interesting system but like uh if well yeah um we will be making some money off of rescues we just haven't figured out how we want to do that yet it's gonna be more of a oh hey we helped you do you want to give us a donation thing for most rescues but if it's like something big obviously that'll change and yeah mo i've done quite a few People will ask me on the side as well, so. But, okay, so we got those hooked up. Um, hmm. And I want to save plating the outside for next time, but I'm not quite sure where I want to go with right now. Hmm. Oh yeah, you have no idea how scared I've been of that. Max, like I've been, I've been waiting for the day. It's gonna come. I'm, I'm scared. All right. 
we're gonna wait until our thrust activates and then I'm gonna measure how long our uh, propellant will last so <laughs> we were joking about that noodle like uh, <laughs> it's ah, it's the rogue one meme like uh, you are being rescued do not uh, do not resist Yeah, it's, it's going to be loosely based on uh, how much time it took to repair or, you know, tow um, or do whatever. You know, time-based plus a flat fee for just calling someone out. And, um, like, if you're a volunteer, say, like, I'm not a part of SOS and I pick up a mission and I go to rescue somebody, um, I can choose to waive the payment. So like, that way if you're picked up by a volunteer, they might just be like, yeah, it's free of charge or whatever. Because most of that payment would go to the person who is doing the rescuing. But okay, we're gonna, well, let me stabilize this real quick. Uh, is this gonna be annoying? Uh, this is gonna be annoying. I'm not. I'm just not even able to do that. I can't read those numbers right now. What I'm doing is I'm trying to find where they stabilize, because um, the further out you get, the wackier the numbers go. But I don't think that's happening. Less. Yep, never mind. Can't do that. <laughs> I was going to try and figure out how much fuel it actually needs, but. And Max. We're, don't worry, we're not going to do that. We're not like, you know, those scammy uh, uh, mechanics that'll do that to you. Okay, so we can't really measure how much our fuel goes down uh, without making a Yule Wall script. Uh, I've got a Yule Wall script that I could use probably somewhere, I think, but I suppose it's for another time. Um, hmm. Here, I guess let's save this and let's go back to our torpedo testing and let's see if that works. You know, may as well give it a try before we end here. Um, so faultier, uh, so we've got the SOS Discord. I haven't advertised in a while. I'll put an advertisement out, but um, so it's really interesting how we do it because there's the volunteers, right? Um, and the volunteers make up the bulk of everything, but you kind of just request. You get a role, and you say like, hey, you know, I'm, you know, looking to join. But, all right, CMO, and welcome back, Cookie. But yeah, there's just, uh, you get a role in our thing. Uh, it's role assignment. You just request to be a uh, SOS member and then do a quick interview because we want to make sure you're not just some, ah, uh, rando. There we go. You have lost Mo to gain a superior viewer. Don't let Mo hear that. Oh boy. All right, here we go. And yeah, I'll put that in there. Uh, expires after never. Oh. Copy. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, so uh, what we're currently working on is I'm just going to do a little bit of torpedo testing, see if it works, and go from there. But uh, Faultier, just remember, like, if you want to be a member, you don't actually have to, or, well, if you want to help out, you don't have to be a member. Like, we don't hold you to being in our faction at all, so. 
See, I hate that because that works. That it works. Oh. But we want to do it with uh, those with our scripts. Yeah, Mo Mo <laughs> Mo Mo was uh, he was thinking of uh, unionizing. But yeah, so Faultier, we're, we're definitely going to kick things up once CA, or EA rolls around. But for now, it's kind of chill. As in, nothing's really happening. Okay, so let's launch it, see what happens. today on will it launch did it no oh, it did let's try that again because that actually waited a while uh, okay 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 if it waited a while it might have quote unquote launched okay okay we're gonna see uh, we're close I can feel it. There we are. Laser on. And we're gonna unlock this. All the bonks and bros are gone, yeah. They pretty much all got redeemed at one point. Well, still fired. Okay, well, I guess it never minds of that. Uh, we'll have to try some more stuff uh, later on to see if we can fix it, but... Uh, well, you know, I can work a bit on, more on this uh, later. And uh, they don't need to be on the same... Uh, the same ship because so this has a designator code uh, the or identifier ID and then the missile tracks just that identifier yeah th that's a good idea Creston we we could do that like um, well hmm. we can we can work out something with you all we can see what what would work or like you know a red uh, fire sequence initiated because remember these are going to be in silos and they're the silos going to open it's going to launch out adjust and shoot off so hmm. and yeah so like uh that's why there are also three going to be three turrets on the morgan so when uh if one fails then you can just change the designator code but also uh, you know, we've got 12 torpedoes, four are going to be assigned to each specific weapon. So these four are going to be for the turret over here. These four are going to be for the turret over there. And then the bottom two on either side are going to be for the turret down there. And uh, you'll be able to um, just launch it off. And yeah, the code, uh, the code is a secret uh, once we get it working, but Later on, uh, we're going to change it. Right now, it's just for testing. Currently, we're not doing turret slaving in this, um, just because it would not work well. So all, all the turrets are going to be uh, with their own person. And yeah, so like if one of the designators fails, then the other turrets can pick it up. So, yeah. But we have just reached our two hour mark and I'd like to end it there. We're a little bit brain dead and I'm also kind of, my voice is getting raspy, but so, um, can you, uh, from one ship to the designator of another? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can. So like if one ship has the same designator ID as one of our torpedoes, it can mess things up.
but um, if you have any more questions, just shoot them in the Discord and I can answer them. Because uh, for now, uh, we're going to be signing off. So if there's any part of this you missed, uh, this will be going up on YouTube in one to two days. And uh, if you'd consider watching me in the future, give me a follow or a sub. And with a subscriber, you can actually uh, join our Minecraft server. But So thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.